guys, today we are talking about the i6. It is made by Flysky and rebadged by Turnergy and Eshine. These radios here are perfect for electric models because they integrate such thing called telemetry, which means you can monitor the battery voltage of your electric model. This particular one is the Turnergy i6. These are a fantastic beginner's radio to intermediate level. The modification we're going to do to this is firmware update it, which converts this from a 6 channel radio to a 10 channel radio. And one of the other major parts of this firmware upgrade is it gives us full battery telemetry for lipos and nickel metal hydrides. This i6 has been updated with the Ben Bojangles December 2016 firmware. I'll just show you when I plug the battery in. That now you get battery telemetry. Here you can read, it says 12.13 volts. That's reading the battery voltage of this particular model. I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on the i6 to the Ben Bojangles firmware. You'll need a firmware update cable. This is an i6 firmware update cable. I will put a link in the description below where you can purchase these from. They're available from Hobby King, Banggood and AliExpress, numerous suppliers. Um, the other thing you will need to do is download the firmware, which is available at the Ben Bojangles website, which I will also give you a link in the description below where you can get the firmware from. The firmware that I am using is the December 2016 version 1.4 which is the timer update um, it's easy to download and I'll show you what to do on your computer go to the link below download the firmware once the firmware is downloaded open up the program in the meantime plug in your leads into the computer and the back of your i6 don't turn it on yet the reason you have to do this is so we can find out what the COM port is. So go to the, your settings and search through your settings to find printers and devices. Open up your printers and devices and in there you'll find a device called silicon devices and find out what the COM port is. In my case it's COM port 5. Once you've got that setting, close off sections, go to the program, change it to the COM port of your computer, open up the port, turn your i6 back on, press the OK button, go to system, go all the way down and you'll see it says firmware update. Click OK, this will end the firmware update mode and hold other functions. Press OK to proceed. And it says, are you sure? And you say yes. And it says update mode on. Now go back to your program. And it should display the Flysky i6 firmware number. As highlighted. And then just click the program now button and it will program your i6 and you'll see the green line progress just wait till it's complete and then once it's completed it'll restart your um, transmitter okay now you've updated your firmware one thing you've got to be aware of that the battery telemetry is only available for AFHDS2 so Press your OK button, go to System, come down to where it says RX Setup and change it to turn that on. Now we've got battery telemetry available. There's four different types available. There's internal nickel metal hydride, internal lipo, internal nickel metal hydride and external lipo. I'm going to use internal lipo. What the difference is between internal and external is there's a hardware hack that allows you to add a wire, cut one trace and add a wire to your receivers 
and that allows battery telemetry via that wire. External is using an IA6B or an I10 uh, receiver with a telemetry module that a purchase. I'm going to set this up for a internal lipo three cell and start with your high one first press and hold the OK button and that will give you a preset I set these to 4.2 volts a cell but there's a bit of variation in the uh, telemetry so sometimes you've just got to fiddle with this a bit usually the read low so I set mine to 12.6 next set your alarm one press the OK and hold the OK button again it gives you a preset I bring, usually bring this up to 3.7 volts or so, just as a starting point, you can back this off a little bit, which is 11.1, .1. and then the final one, the low setting, um, I usually bring that up to 3.6 volts or so. And once you've done that, just remember to press and hold the cancel button which saves it press and hold the cancel button just OK again just to make sure it's all there yep cancel 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 and there you, now you have full battery telemetry on this particular model In conclusion, the Ben Boge Angles firmware turns this awesome little i6 radio from a 6 channel to a 10 channel and it also gives you some plenty more other features that are not listed in this video. Check it out, recommend this for beginners to intermediates.